All right, hey guys, Talon's here, and uh, it's springtime out right now, March, uh, beginning of April, and uh, right now I'm gonna start talking to you guys about some uh, springtime fishing tactics. Um, some of my favorites are, you know, fishing in a drop shot with a little fluke like that. Um, drop shotting is by far one of my uh, favorite ways to catch uh, fish when the bite is tough. Um, which usually isn't the case in spring, but um, sometimes that's just when you uh, catch your more quality fish is on a, uh, a finesse tactic, whether it be a little trick worm or a fluke like that. And another way that I like to catch fish in the spring is on a uh, swim bait, um, lake fork tackle, lab magic shed, and the chartreuse pearl. Real hard to beat in the uh, springtime. Um, clear water. Uh, with the uh, chartreuse and pearl and uh, also that bluegill color is a great bait to fish in the springtime if you can find the bluegill beds find where the fish are uh, going to be up in the shallows that's a great bait to throw this is more of a uh, open water bait that I like to fish um, I'll also fish uh, the boot tail sometimes in the deeper water on uh, a scounder head or just a, a belly weighted um, spring lock hook um, Probably by far the most um, fished bait in my tackle box in the spring, and probably in most of you guys' tackle box in the spring is a uh, a diver a diver crank bait. Here I just have a bunch of bombers. This is a uh, probably a ten foot depth range. It's probably eight to ten foot. Uh, I'm just gonna run put through a couple of these. Another bomber. It's like in a little Tennessee shag gizzard bait. And like a little sexy shad there. Um, that's probably how I catch most of my fish in the open water when they're suspended. They're not exactly on the bottom, but they're kind of in the middle of the water column. They're not. They're not fully active on top, so I can't really throw a top water yet. But they're not hitting the worm bite. So sometimes I just throw that crankbait down there and try to pick them off. Um, another one, another good one when the fish are suspended is a uh, rattle trap. That's a uh, striking red eye shad and a half ounce sexy shad. Um, I like the shad colors in the spring. Here's the uh, Paula clock and wrap with my uh, modification. Um, basically what I do to this bait is uh, there's a uh, rattling chamber right there where that black dot is and usually it's silver but I just take a black sharpie and color over it so it gives it that uh, black dot that uh, most shad have. So. That's a, uh, another tip of the day, and uh, sometimes in the more muddier water, I'll go with this uh, Apollo Kraken Wrap, uh, 10 to 12 foot, in the uh, honey mustard color. That's a great bait for dirty water. Uh, so yeah, that's probably my uh, rundown for the crank baits that I use. Uh, sometimes I'll use the reds. Yeah, here I'll show you guys some red crankbaits that I use. I believe this is a, yeah, this is a bomber. That's a great crankbait. Fish this in the rocks when I know the fish are up shallow. Not shallow, but in the rocky areas, the points where they're fishing on, feeding on crayfish and stuff. Uh, this is a, I believe this is a Norman. All of these dive pretty much anywhere from 6 to 12 foot, um, just depending on your line diameter. And, uh, you retrieve. So yeah, that's a couple ways that I catch a lot of my spring fish. Another way is on um, uh, stick baits, whether it be the Lake Fork Tackle um, Hyper Sticks. That's a great one. Or the Gary Yamamoto uh, Senkos. I'll just give you a couple colors. This is probably my number one color for uh, the springtime is this uh, watermelon seed color. These are all five inch, by the way. Love that color. Um, this is a great fall time color. This is this uh, red shad. And those fish are feeding on uh, crawfish and stuff. Uh, here's a watermelon red. That's good in the spring for a sunny day. Really get those uh, red flakes glowing under the water. Um, green pumpkin candy. That's a pretty good color. Um, I usually use that mostly on a uh, wacky rig though, that color. 
And uh, my favorite wacky, wacky rig color is this right here. This is the Strike King Shimmy Stick in the Smoky Shag color. Sorry about that, my cat is playing with a grocery bag that she found. And uh, yeah, it's a great wacky rig color for uh, springtime. And sorry about that, my cat's going crazy. Um, yeah, Texas rig that, wacky rig it. Um, uh, there's a mojo rig for grass that I use on that sometimes. Um, this is my uh, June bug color, June bug young dinger. Love this color on cloudy day. And probably my favorite color, go to color all around, works everywhere, is uh, green pumpkin. Yeah, plenty of these, got six, seven packs of these. I mean, that, that just best, probably best bait ever made right there. But they are expensive, they do rip. And then uh, I'm kind of debating whether or not I like the uh, Lake Fork Tackle. I, the Lake Fork Tackle Hyper Sticks are without a doubt better than those. But um, I don't know, I'm kind of in between. These are more expensive, they rip, but they have a little bit different action than the Hyper Sticks because the Hyper Sticks have the swim slot, so it kind of just depends on the situation. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much all my stick baits. And then my next favorite way to catch fish is on frogs, buzzing frogs. The uh, soft plastic rage toads are probably my second favorite next to the uh, Lake Fork Fork Frog, which is my favorite all-time frog. But uh, those are uh, downstairs in my, uh, my other taco boxes. Uh, but yeah, so my favorite color is this little green pumpkin pearl. It's got like a pearl bottom and a pumpkin top. Uh, one thing you have to do when you buy these baits is you gotta separate these feet. I remember first time I bought these baits, I didn't separate the feet, and I was fishing them for like two or three hours, and I was wondering why I didn't have any action. And I looked over the, at the uh, uh, feet, and I saw they weren't moving right, and so I looked at them and noticed you had to split the feet. So uh, yeah, guys, blonde moment right there. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it for all the baits that I fish in the spring. Um, another one that I'll fish uh, late spring, early summer is uh, spinner baits early in the morning. Uh, it's hard to beat this Strike King color right here. This white, the trailer hook with the gold, gold Colorado silver willow. Half ounce, hard to beat that bait. Caught in a lot of big fish in that bait. But yeah, guys, that's probably the majority of the baits that I fished during the uh, uh, springtime, early spring, late summer, anywhere from uh, March to July. Um, I'll, I'll be throwing those baits. Um, sometimes I'll throw some swim baits, some uh, brush hogs, um, flipping baits, but. Yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I fished during the uh, spring and summer. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below, and uh, talk to you guys later.